So, I've got a nice treat for all of you guys today. Some of my uh, longer channel subscribers may recognize this vehicle. And uh, I'm making a video on it now because I've had uh, messages and comments. Uh, people wanted to know exactly what happened to this car. Well, let me start from the beginning. This is a 1999 Oldsmobile Alero GL. I had gotten this car back in 2005. It was my car. It was actually my third car. And uh, then I passed it down to my younger brother. It was his second car. And after many more years of use, we passed it down to my youngest brother, who is the current owner of it. And it is his first car. So, ain't that funny? Three, two, one. Huh. But, uh, anyway, the uh, video that was on this car uh, was almost five years ago, actually. The uh, motor had blown up because of the uh, defective intake and head gaskets from the, uh, you know, 3400 V6, the infrared gasket issue. And, uh, didn't. Well, it was the second time that the gaskets needed to be replaced, so kind of waited too long and the motor blew, or seized up I should say, so the video that I made on this car was us trying to get it started. So we'll take a quick look at that video right now. wasn't that fun. We almost had it started. It ran for a couple seconds. But needless to say, we put a uh, there's a B. We put another motor into it. And that one also seized up uh, almost a little over 2 years ago because the uh, radiator was leaking or a coolant hose was leaking and all the coolant ran out. And the car was driven on the highway with no coolant, so of course, the gasket was toast. That's when my younger brother decided to get the G6 that he has now, which I also filmed for my channel. And then my other youngest brother bought this car off of him for the price of the engine. So it's on its third engine. And uh, as you can tell, it is now starting to uh, really fall apart. So that's why I'm filming this, because I absolutely love this car. This was actually the first car that I was able to pick out on my own. Uh, I, I still love driving this car. It's not in the best handling right now, but it is still a fun car to drive. Uh, I wish I had video of what the car looked like when I first got it, but unfortunately I don't. So, but, but yeah, the... Uh, paint on the bumpers coming off a little bit uh, when I got the car it was just around there around the headlights but nothing like this so it's definitely gotten worse over the years as well as the spots on the hood I gave it a quick wash before I filmed it no need to spend a whole lot of time on it Julie's home uh, the wheels are stained you would think that maybe for a car this old there'd be more rust on it, but actually 
a majority of the car still is in pretty good shape when it's all cleaned up. The camera's gonna die. You we got shot it. at. We look did it. accurate. Look at my we got we look got at shot this. at. I was scared. Get on, get on. These guys, they they literally we got paintball. They drove by and shot we us got, with paintball drive guns. Drive by. Drive by in the hood. Yeah, guys, I <laughs> I heard the gunshots. I literally thought it was like real guns. I floored it. Like my foot was going through the floor, and there's the results right there. Look at this. Oh my god. Hey, yeah, show them back there. I got one there. thing to say. Do it. What are those? <laughs> so here are the paintballs from the outside. Look at this. That is nuts. I can't believe that happened. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. Oh, someone put like put the finger right there. Crazy. I still can't believe that happened. Are you still like thinking about how terrified you were? Yeah. It was terrifying. It was scary. Oh. I PTSD. There's still clear coat on it, so I mean there's no peeling. Uh, the only kind of rust that we have is, you know, toward the bottom of the doors. A little bit around the uh, wheels. Not even really around the wheels. I mean that wheel well is pretty nice. This one's got some rust on it. The back's still in good shape. The weather stripping's coming off the light. Uh, the gas filler door did break. I believe Tyler documented that on his vlogs. That's that's good. Yeah, um, I think I need a new car soon. Yep. <laughs> and the lower rocker panel molding was also falling off. So, he took care of that as well. I think I'm going to customize my car a little bit. Um, could you record this for me, please? Yes, sir. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think it would look a lot better if I just kicked that part off. Hopefully this works. Oh man, it's a lot tougher than I thought. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it looks a lot better. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Look at, look at this. Customized rust. Um, yeah, it's great. Uh, you'll see tape around the rear windows, both of them, because... Uh, both motors gave out, so the windows just fall in, and uh, that tape, it gets replaced once in a while, but it's that Gorilla tape, so it actually stays, stays on there for quite a bit. Oh, you're leaking. Oh, I'm leaking! Whatever. It's a 99 Alero, I can deal with it. So yeah, I mean, this is, uh, it's not in the best of shape, but I'm quite surprised that this car has held up this long. So it's just shy of 200,000 miles. The inside is, uh, these seats are, are hard to keep clean. So this beige color especially, you can kind of see where the original color still is but many, many, many years of uh, drive and wear and tear. When I had the car, I think it was when I still had it, but the window lock switch broke off. Um, it's a little bit dusty, but I didn't, wasn't gonna do the inside. So, always uh, loved the interior design of this car. Very similar to that of the Grand Am, which it shares the same platform I know I've mentioned before. So, first car that I ever had with keyless entry, of course the, uh, there's no more button, barely, all the writing's off it.
it's running a little bit shaky. Can't seem to figure out why. There might be vacuum leaks somewhere because uh, there's a hiss under the hood. It's going to tell me that there's no washer fluid at some point. But, uh, or I thought there was no washer fluid. I don't remember. Don't know why it's doing that. But uh, yeah, 194,828 miles. When I got this car in 05, it had about 117,000. So um, we've definitely got its use. So once the car, you might even have to just step on the brake, but the uh, analog and traction light come on. So I don't know if it's the actual analog motor bad or if there's a bad hub bearing. It's probably the hub bearing too. Possibilities are endless at this point. So. Uh, let's see what else. Car had fog lamps. They never worked for me because we never changed the bulbs. So I think they were just burned out. Little storage pocket there. Uh, trying to see no lever. High beams. Emergency hazards, uh, wipers, uh, AM FM cassette player. We did have an aftermarket in here when I got the car. I took this one out. Uh, it's had an aftermarket up until I think around the time my youngest brother took the car because we're down to one speaker, I believe. So, thought maybe uh, the aftermarket was acting up but it turns out I don't know if the amplifier is just bad or the wiring's doing something funny so we put the original stereo back in uh, believe it or not this stereo probably has only gotten about five years of use maybe five or six years of use because it's been out of the car the majority of its life uh, climate controls the air conditioning does not work anymore it did for the longest time, but it is no longer working. Uh, the shifter, as you can tell, is not the original Alero shifter. It is actually from a Grand Am because the original button broke and uh, we had to get a replacement. So the Grand Am one is the one that works. I like it though. It's got the little grips. Storage pocket. Hidden cup holder with change in it. Uh, storage compartment, glove box will come. So, cubby hole, vanity mirror with broken flap, dome lamp with two map lamps for your rear passengers. Surprisingly, it's not hanging from the ceiling. I think a lot of them end up falling down eventually. Back seat. Two cup holders. Nothing else. You can see where it was taped on the inside, and surprisingly, when I washed it, it must have had it taped pretty good because there is no water coming in there today. So this is what this engine looks like when it's actually running in this car. 3400 series, oh no, not the series, sorry, just the 3400 uh, V6. 175 horsepower, I believe, and 205 pound-feet of torque. No, 170 horsepower. 170 for this car. So, three engines later, it still runs. Still has the original transmission though. So the transmission originally has the 194,000 miles on it. We got clean oil now. And believe it or not, these are actually the original shock towers on this hood. I'm surprised again that they have lasted this long.
powered seat, by the way. So there's a, a bunch of issues with the car right now. The shock towers, or the, you know, the front shocks are wearing down. Um, tires need to be replaced and hub bearings and just a bunch of stuff. So I mean, I'm filming this because he's eventually, sometime in the near future, probably going to get rid of this car and get something new. Um, if you uh, have all seen his channel, I know I've uh, kind of plugged it into this channel a little bit. Um, Tyler Adams vlogs. He is, uh, you know, he's trying to get his career going. So uh, he's not sure, you know, how long he's going to keep the car. But you know, once his career takes off, this car is history. So, and I've really enjoyed this car. And I know, like I said, a lot of you people on the uh, who like to watch the channel and stuff have asked, you know, if we ever got it fixed and what it's like now. So this. This is it. So, I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. But, uh, yeah, that's, that is the uh, 99 Olds Alero GL. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, brief vlog style tour on it. And, uh, I think that's pretty much it, so. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, this answered a lot of your guys' questions on the car. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Haha! -ha! We're going on a joy ride. Joy ride! Joy ride! Joy ride! Joy ride!